Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are back in the survival adventure SMP and we are currently standing in front of our town hall that we built last time. It's looking amazing. I hope you all are enjoying this series so far and I hope you are liking the things that we're building. I think it's turning out really good and today we are going to add on to our Wild West town right over here we are going to be building some horse stables today um, I mentioned building horse stables in a previous episode and I figured that I might as well go ahead and actually build them I was running out of ideas as to what to put over here and I thought a horse stable would be a great idea and a great way to kind of take up some space so that's what we're going to be building today so I think we're going to go ahead and get into the build for today and then we'll see what else we can't find to do in the episode. Alright everybody, we are now done with the build, and I added a few extra things that you didn't see in the time lapse, such as I added a bunch of grass over here just to make it look a little more run down, and I added some water troughs over here for the horses, because you know the horses need water, and something else I did, I added this detail, which I didn't originally think I was going to put on, uh, the upside down stair with the fence, I normally only do that if I have a deck around the build, but I just decided to try it and I think it looked really cool on there, so I kept it there. And then something else I did right over here, I built two little wagons. I just, I really wanted something to just kind of fill the space, and I thought that two nice little wagons over here would be a perfect fit for that. You guys are free, feel free to use these designs in your own world if you want. I think they turned out really cool. Got a bigger wagon here for the hay, and then we got a little wagon here just with some storage. And I don't think I'm going to connect these to the pathway. I kind of want it to look like they were just forgotten and the townspeople just didn't need them anymore. And that's why the path kind of just goes on and there's a bush growing in front of it. Just kind of make it look like they don't need it anymore and that they're just sitting there. But I think the stables turned out really cool. I really like the way they look and I hope you do I hope you guys do as well and I also need some help from you guys I have a few different things that I need help on the biggest being I need a name for this town we've been building things in this town for a while now and we need a name for it so let me know down in the comments if you think of a good name suggestion and I will see what people, what you guys say in the comments, and we'll be able to pick a name for the town. And something else I also need your guys' help with. Let me know what you want to see me build next. We're starting to run out of room here at our town. We've got enough room for maybe like, maybe one, two, 
Well, let's run over here. Maybe a third could go over here. We've got room for maybe three to four more buildings, and I'm kind of running out of ideas as to what to build. So if you guys have any good ideas, let me know down below, and maybe I can build one of your ideas in the next episode. So what I want to do now, I think I'm going to go around and just do some chores around the world, do some things that I meant to finish and just never did, like the carpet in the town hall and the rooms uh, in the inn, stuff like that, and I'll get back with you guys and uh, show you what I come up with. All right, everybody, I'm back, and I have done some chores and finished up some builds, the first being the town hall. I put the carpet in. I went and got some wool and put this carpet in, and it's looking pretty cool. I think it fills the space perfectly like I thought it would. It looks pretty cool. And then the next thing I want to show you all is over here at the hotel, or the inn, I have decorated the rooms. As you can see, there's a little desk and a flower and some storage in each one. The ones that don't have people's name above them yet don't have beds. I'm kind of waiting for people to take the rooms and then I'm going to choose a bed that I think is a color they'll like and put it in there. So a board has a white bed. And then up here, Veteran has a red bed. Zazzy has a pink bed and Unbeatable has a green bed. And I think that that is looking pretty cool. It's nice to finally have the interior done of that build. And the last thing I want to show you guys is what I've done with the pond. As you can see, it's looking a bit different. Got some more overgrowth to it with some sugar cane with string on top so it doesn't grow anymore. And I've got the large drip leaves going around and some bushes. I think it's looking really cool just to have a little bit of more vegetation around the pond. I think it looks awesome. And down here, there you are, I was looking for this is our little axolotl friend that I found in a lush cave. Her name is Rosie, and she's going to be, hopefully, chilling in the pond for a while. I hope I don't just come back one day and she's gone, but, um, yeah, I just, I was in a lush cave. There's one nearby, and I wanted to get some moss, and, and um, I saw her just swimming around in a little pool, so I was like, you know what, your name is Rosie, and you're going to come home and live with me in the pond, so... Yeah. Now we have Rosie, and the pond is looking really cool. I mean, the whole area is looking really cool. I don't know what I'm talking about. I love it all. I hope you guys are liking it as well. And I think that's going to do it for this episode. That's really all. I've done everything I wanted to accomplish today. Like I said earlier in the video, let me know what you guys want to see me build next. And give me a name for the town if you can think of one. I'm going to get out of here on that one. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day. I'll see you in the next one, everybody.